Hey YouTube, Joy Picker here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the past few weeks of some really, really good uh, Sterling jewelry that I'm really happy with. Um, I paid a lot. I'd say maybe I paid five hundred, four to five hundred. I'd say for everything here. Maybe a little bit more, maybe six hundred. A lot of it is really good, as you can see right here. But uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, guys. So first piece here, I picked up this at a thrift store. It's a little Navajo or Native American Coco Pelli Sterling Cuff Bracelet. Mark Sterling right there. Uh, nice piece. Decent size, actually. Pretty heavy, like 15 grams. Page $7.99 for this. That was a good one. Pretty happy with that. Um, next here, some George Jensen. Uh, these are actually a pretty good deal. 30 bucks I paid. Uh, she knew what they were, so. But 30 bucks. She, I purchased a lot from her. Uh, I don't know if she's watching this. Sometimes she does, but if you are, hi. Uh, these are, they have some wear to them. Uh, the top one and one of them has like a little indent right there. You see the difference? Sorry about the noise in the background, by the way. But I had these up for 175, I think. So those will do well. <clears throat> Let's see this guy. So next, I got this from her as well. Uh, it's a J King ring. Uh, I paid 15 bucks for this. This is actually a really good deal. Actually, I traded her this at eight dollars. So, or not this. I traded her some pendant that I had on eBay for a little while. Uh, for an eight dollars for this. So this is a good one. I have this up for like 65 or so. It's a nice size. Like a size eight or something. And I'd say everything but like two pieces from here are listed. Yeah, I think everything here is listed. So if you guys are interested in it, it's on eBay. Uh, this I got, so I purchased a lot of Native American jewelry and one Chinese uh, pill box I'll show you guys afterwards uh, for $336. Um, this is one of them. I paid roughly around $31 each, so for $31, this guy right here. Little Mother of Pearl Inlay Zuni cuff bracelet, nice size. Uh, next piece here, nice large size actually. Uh, it's a nice stamp on the front, like a bear paw. That Mark Sterling, uh, 925, some sort of maker's mark right there, like t TOP, top, not sure what that means, but that was a good one. Uh, this one, I think I, I actually gave her 20 for this. I think I gave her a little bit too much. Uh, I think it evens out for some of the other stuff that I got, so that's okay, but yeah. Uh, nice turquoise on ET, a little smaller size, smaller wrist, maybe a child's wrist. Let's see, I'll show you guys this one here. Oops, this. Uh, this one I paid 54. It's a pawn cuff bracelet. Nice Royston turquoise in it. No marks, pretty stiff band actually. Nice thick band, I like it. Definitely older, probably from the 50s I'd say. Maybe 60s. No chips or anything in the stones. I'll show you guys the stones. Nice, Really nice cut turquoise. Love this one. Uh, this one here, this one I really like. This is a Snake Eyes Malachite bracelet. This was in the intro. Uh, Mark, just Mark Sterling, no maker's mark. Nice Fred Ar Harvey stamping era on the side. Nice uh, size as well. Pretty hefty, like 25 grams or so. No chips in the stones. I'll show you guys, no missing stones. This one, I, th I don't know if I said, but I gave her 50 for this one as well. This one I should do pretty well with. Sorry about that, I was upstairs. Uh, okay, I'll show, I think that's, all right, I'll show this. This I got from her as well, and this one was actually a really good purchase. Had an offer of 120 on this by a reseller. I gave her 23. I don't really, I thought it was maybe worth like 60 or 70 maybe. They don't really do much research, but I have this up for 300 right now. And there's quite a bit of views on it. I think maybe there's one watcher on it. Uh, really nice jade, gold gilt. Or uh, silver gilt, I think that's what it's called. This is like a gold wash in here. Really nice. So this, that was a good one. I should pay for almost everything. Uh, so next, the last three pieces, probably my favorite pieces that I got from her. Uh, a big pin. So I got this one and this one here. These were in the intro. These are really heavy sterling uh, Navajo stamp wide cuffs. I like this one a little bit better than this one, but I love them both. Uh, no maker's marks, just sterling and uh, 
Sterling. This one's Mark Sterling on both sides. The lighting is kind of bad. You can see it's Sterling and Sterling. Uh, this one I have up for 180. This one I have up for 165. Uh, I think I should get that maybe like 150 each, if anything. They weigh like 50 or 60 grams each. This one weighs a little bit more. But this one I gave her 55 or 65. No, this one was 55. This one was 65. So I basically paid a dollar a gram for that one. So that's a good one. And my favorite piece that I got from her, this was in the intro as well, this one right here. Uh, nice amber uh, uh, Navajo cuff, and it's actually signed. Nobert Johnson. So that was a, that's a really good name to look out for, Nobert Johnson. Uh, I haven't actually heard of it, but I looked it up, and it's actually done really well. So it's a good name to look out for. No chips whatsoever, or cracks in the amber at all, and it's a really nice size. So I think this should do pretty well. I have this up for 200 Maybe a little too high on it. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, this cuff here, I just paid five bucks for it. Some guy at the flea market was selling it. Little Zuni bracelet. I had this up right now for like 40. A little crack across the turquoise, but no big deal. Basically paid melt for it, so. We'll see what happens with that. No marks. Um, actually, to the thrift store where I got um, the thrift store that I got this, I actually got this ring here. Uh, nice signed Navajo ring, TC. Um, there's some little, like, residue up there. It's not missing a stone, it's just glue. I looked at it with my loop, it kind of looks like it's missing a stone on camera. Maybe it was missing a stone and someone filled it with glue. So, this was five ninety nine. They knew it was silver, but I don't know why it was so cheap. <laughs> and my favorite piece that I got from them... Uh, where are these? Uh, most of you probably already know what these are, but these are James Avery, uh, study rings. Uh, original backs on both of them, Avery, Sterling, and this one's marked Avery. Now, let me zoom in here for you guys. Avery925, it's not picking up. There it is. So these were a good deal for $6.49. Oh, it's been a little too far. These were a really good deal for six forty nine. Uh, I had these up for seventy five. Two watchers on them, like seventy views or something. Uh, really good name to look out for, James Avery. Really good designer. Uh, purchased a lot off from Mercari. <clears throat> uh, got a lot of like, pretty good stuff. I sold a pendant, and on there, it sold it within a day. Nice Navajo or yeah Navajo pendant. Sold for seventy four dollars. I was surprised. Uh, my listing price. I, it was signed, but I didn't know who it was. I also got this in there. This is a nice Navajo stamp uh, Malachite cuff. Stamped uh, AH Sterling or Sterling AH. Nice large size. Uh, maybe size 8 or so, I'm thinking. Because it fits me. I wear, I wear an 8 inch wrist. I have an 8 inch wrist, so. Uh, I got this at the thrift store with this one and everything else. And, uh, James Avery earrings. This is a single sterling candlestick. Paid two ninety nine for this. Uh, nice one. Only one. Wish I had the other one. It's actually in really good shape, so I'm not going to take it apart. I'm just going to wait until I have a bunch of these and then lot them up or something. But uh, this is a good buy for three bucks. <clears throat> and uh, I got this one. Actually, I'll show this. This is got at the flea market for 10 bucks. It's a cabana, sterling bolo, tie, no cord, but KBN sterling. Uh, I couldn't find anyone similar to this one. Uh, if anybody knows what it's worth, I had this up for like 45 or something, but I don't know if it's worth that. Maybe I have too much on it, too little, I'm not sure. Actually, I probably would have sold if I had too much, so not sure about that. Uh, another thrift store that gets so much stuff, like, when I say that you get so much, it's literally shop goodwill, except in, like, person. It's crazy. Um, this is a Carolyn Pollack cuff. Uh, paid a whopping $12.50 for this. <laughs> this is a good deal. Uh, Smart, uh, the Relio Smart 925 and C in the circle. Couldn't find one similar to this one. Uh, some with the citrine. But, yeah, I'm not sure what this stone is. Maybe some sort of yellowish white stone. So it weighs like 15 grams, so I paid a little bit, probably around melt for it. I also got this ring, I paid 20 for it. I don't know, I just thought it was a nice ring. Unmarked. 
It's uh, I forget, like cellulose turquoise or something. I think that or cellulose, something like that. I think it's cellulose, but it's a nice one. Fred Harvey stamp, no chips in the stone. Really nice stone. I'm pretty happy with that one there. Um, I got two really good pieces I'm going to show at the end. But, so yesterday, I went to a Goodwill store. Uh, spent $104 on some really good stuff. It's only one, two, three, four, five, six pieces, but it's really good stuff. Uh, I'll show this. I probably should have left these, but I got the set. I got the ring and the necklace, or the pendant, to match. Uh, these were $16. Not sure why I really bought them, but they're Carolyn Pollack. They had the original back, so maybe that's why I bought them, but... Carolyn Pollack, 925, Relios. Uh, I have these up for like 35 or so. Not a huge profit, but Carolyn Pollack stuff sells pretty well, so. That was a good one. Um, here's the ring. I like this one. This one was 15 or $16 as well. I'm not sure why, how they price it, but yeah. Uh, nice heavy ring, nice well made uh, scroll design ring here. It's marked with the Relios, 925. Um, this one was cheap. <laughs> um, I'm surprised. I paid 25 bucks for this. The pendant and the chain. This chain weighs two ounces. Uh, Carolyn Pollack, the matching pendant for the earring. The ring. Um, I don't know why it was so cheap. Usually this kind of stuff they have so much more. It must have been a misprice or something because this was too cheap. I paid under melt for this, so I guess just made up for the earrings. Because I, I would have paid 40 for this, so, <laughs> or 45. Uh, Nice sterling chain marked on the clasp in there. And the pendant's really nice too. Nice uh, enhancer pendant, I think it's called. I have the pendant up for 85, not the chain, just the pendant. So I should do well with that. Nice little profit there. Um, this is another Carolyn Pollock brand. They didn't have the other set. Maybe they did, they just didn't put it out yet, but because I would have bought it. Um, nice Carolyn Pollock, like a lemon course, I think it's called. Or, uh, I have it, it starts with a C, I think, but I forget. I got a silvery and a citrine, not citrine, but like a, si si I don't know. Um, this was $16, uh, Relios, Mark, Karen Polak, the CP. Uh, I have this up for like 50 or so. And uh, the best, eh, maybe not the best piece. Well, they're good. They're nice names. These were $15 each. Not really sure how they price this stuff. Uh, you might know who the designer is, but this is, uh, Michael Dawkins, uh, 925 Thailand, Michael Dawkins, uh, no chips in the stone, 15 bucks each is a pretty good deal, actually a steal in my opinion, <laughs> um, I have this up, this one, like 55, this one 60, I couldn't find the same one, but I found one with a CZ, and they had like 50 on it, so, I don't know, uh, they're both size six and a half. I think everything came from the same person, because all these rings are around the same size, like six, six and a half. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, these are pretty good. These should sell, hopefully. Um, the next two pieces, um, these are my favorite pieces, probably, of the, you know, the month, I'd say. Maybe the week, actually, because this stuff is all fairly new. Yeah, everything I just got, like, last week, so. <laughs> um, yeah, like, last week, within the last week or two, so. Uh, this I paid, so... I was at the flea market. I got this from the flea market. Um, here, I'll explain what it is, though. I'll explain the story. So, uh, it's a Navajo, unmarked, nice sterling, really heavy, like two ounces or so. Turquoise necklace, no chips or anything. All the stones are there. Uh, no dents, which I'm pretty shocked about. Uh, nice tribal stamp here as well. So, so yeah, I was at the flea market, found a little 14 carat chain. Uh, they had 10 on it, I offered 5, even though I probably would have paid the 10. Maybe I can get a little cheaper as well. Uh, so I paid 5 bucks, weighed 2.7 grams. Um, and then I went to a friend who was set up, and he had this. And I'm like, oh crap, I like that. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, how much do you want to know? He said 125, and he's like, oh, I'll do one, 100 for you. And I'm like, would you trade it for this? And I think the gold value of the necklace is like 100 bucks. And I know he usually buys this kind of stuff by weight, which I don't know who would sell this at like 85% melt. Because that's what he pays, so. Uh, he's like, what do you do? Are you throwing 20? And I'm like, I prefer just to trade it. So he's like, he thought about it for a little while. And he's like, okay, that's fine. So I got this for five bucks. <laughs> uh, I have this up for 400 right now. 
I think it's a pretty fair price. Um, I don't know. I'll take an offer, maybe like three fifty, three seventy-five. But I don't really want to go lower than that, just because I think it's a really good piece, and I'll end up keeping it if it sells for less and just collect it. This, this stuff is really, really desirable. So it's really funny. It's kind of hard to do this beads kind of stuff, but it's hard. But yeah. that was a nice find. And uh, my biggest little refined uh, for the year. <laughs> I have to zoom out for this. Uh, so I was at the thrift store yesterday, the same where I got the James Avery earrings and the candlestick. And I went to the silver plated section. Um, I walked by, I didn't see anything. Went to the video games to see if there were any good video games. Uh, sorry about the vacuum upstairs. Um, nothing there special, but um, I walk back and I see this. And I'm like, oh, it was really tarnished. I just decided to clean it up afterwards. But pick it up, look in the bottom, no marks, nothing. Look on the inside, nothing. So I look on the side, nothing, nothing. Oh. 925. I swear my heart dreads when I picked this up. I mean, it's uh, 220 and a half grams, so it's not like something crazy. It's like $150 in silver, but for a 299 investment, I think that was a steal. No, well, it, it was a steal. I paid like 4% melt, so <laughs> that was a good buy. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's recap the better pieces, I think, in this video. I got the Nice necklace here. Uh, this guy right there. Uh, the Nober Johnson cuff. This guy, the Royston. This uh, enameled or this jade pillbox. This big necklace here. I'll just recap everything. The James Avery earrings. The little cuff. The Michael Dawkins ring. The other Michael Dawkins ring. Uh, the two Navajo cuffs here. The candlestick, I'm not going to put that there. Uh, this guy. Uh, Carolyn Pollock rings right there. The other Carolyn Pollock cuff. Little cuff there. Uh, Carolyn Pollock earrings, which I paid too much for. Uh, the J. King ring. The Fred Harvey ring. Little. Zuni Cuff, Cabana, uh, Zuni Mother of Pearl, uh, Signed Turquoise Cuff, this guy here, and the uh, George Jensen here. So, I think this is probably one of the best weeks I've had this year. Uh, yeah, I have a lot into it, but this is over $1,000 of the stuff easily. Maybe almost $2,000, I'd say. <coughs> Sorry. Um... Yeah, so this alone, this is 150 bucks right there. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this week. Let me know what your favorite piece was. I think mine was either the bowl or the stamp necklace right there. Um, actually, I just got this bowl yesterday, by the way. Um, yeah, so, if you guys like this video, uh, let me know in the comments or let me know by liking as well. Subscribe. Let me know what your favorite piece was. And, yeah, peace.